In this section, I am going to cover one of my favorite features on the EOS console, and that is Query. Now, Query is a, it's like a dynamic group feature on the console that as you create your patch, the console is logging your fixture types and certain keywords that automatically get inserted. You can then use Query to search by those keywords and dynamically select channels. Now, one of the nice things about Query is that it automatically updates with your rig, so you don't have to manually create a bunch of groups simply based on fixture type or some other of the default keywords. So let's take a look at that and how you can use Quarry to speed up some of your programming. In our example, I would like to grab the blue lights that are aimed center stage. Well, I can either remember those channel numbers or I can use Quarry to do that for me. So if I hit my Quarry key, which is here on the keyboard, and I can choose fixture types here in my CIA, and now I can see all of the fixture types that are patched into my rig. So I no, these are max 700s. And now I can use a conditional statement, which are down here in my soft keys, and I can say is in color palette blue, and also is in the down center focus palette. And now we can see that the specified channels on my live display indicate that 24 and 26 are the two channels that meet those conditions. Now when I press enter, those are selected, and I can do something that I need to do, whether it's changed their intensity or moved them to a new position. Now, one of the nice things about Query as well is that I can define my own keywords if I have some uh, uh, custom keywords that I want to put in. For example, I know that I have some backlights and three of my backlights have leaf breakups. Now, I can add a searchable field called leaves into Query, so let's take a look at doing that. This is all done in patch, so I'm going to go to patch, and it's done in the database section. So I will go to the database uh, soft key here. And now you'll notice that the patch display has repainted in the CIA. And I have four text fields. And I know that my channels 1 and 4 and 8, they already have a text field that say they are backlights. But I want to add a new keyword, so I, I touch text 4. And now I can use some of the default keywords that appear over here in the left-hand portion of my CIA. But I want to use a new keyword that I'm going to create with the new keyword button. New keyword. I get a keyboard that'll pop up here. And these are leaves. So now text 4 is uh, in leaves. And if I look at my patch display on the external monitor, I can see all of my text fields at once. So I can see that my channel 1, for instance, has in text number 1 the word backs, and in text number 4, leaves. So now when I'm in live, and I would like to grab those channels, I can hit Query. And now I can go to the keyword portion of Query on the right-hand side. I can pick Leaves, my defined keyword, and now I have control of any fixture that has the keyword Leaves in it. So I can get as detailed as I want with this using some other conditional statements. So I could say Query, I would like um, fixture types, Mac 700s or Mac 2Ks that are currently in blue and can be down center. And you can see that I now have a number of channels specified. As you can see, Query gives you as much or as little information that you can narrow down your selection based on keyword and fixture type. So that is how you would use Query as a dynamic channel selector in the EOS.